Hey everyone, welcome to Charger Games. This is Raja and this is another Unity 2D Brick Breaker game tutorial. Now, as you can see that last time we left off, we created all this where we can move the ball with the paddle and then wherever we press the space button, the ball goes on. But the problem is that now when we press the space button multiple times, as you can see here, when we press the space button multiple times, the force gets applied multiple times. But we don't want to do that. We want the force to be applied only once when we press the space button. So let's go and fix that in this video. So in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple boolean variable. So I'm going to write bool game started equals false. Okay. So what is this doing? So here we are creating a variable a boolean variable which can store only true and false and we are setting it to false so this variable will take care of if our game has been started or not so if our game has been already started then we don't want uh, we don't want to add any force whenever we are pressing the space key but if our game has not started yet then we want to add the force whenever we press the space button okay so let's see how we can do that as you can see at the beginning the game started variable is set to false so that means the game has not started so we can do all this now we need to do something so that whenever we are pressing the space button and if the game has not started yet only then we can add the force okay so in order to do that as you can see inside this if statement, we are checking if input dot get button the get key up equals to key code dot space. That means if we are pressing the space key, only then we are adding the force. So along with that, we need to put another condition. And if we want to put another condition, then we have to give to ampersand signs. So we need to give, it means and. So that means that if this condition is true, and whatever we put after that, that condition is true, only then that will happen. So as the second condition, I'm gonna give game started equals false. So that means if we have pressed the space button and game started equals to false, that means the game has not started yet, only then we wanna do all this. And if the game has already started, then we don't want to add any more force to our ball. Okay. Now, one more thing we need to do is after we have added the force to the ball here, after that, we need to say again that game started equals true. So that means our game has now started because the game started is true. So now we cannot add any more force to the ball. Okay. So let's check out how to, how that works. So now I'm gonna place the play button. As you can see now, if I press the space button, the ball goes. But if I press the space button more than one time now, it doesn't uh, add any more force to the ball because the ball is already gone and we have already set or we have already made the game started variable true. So if the game started variable is true, then we cannot add force to the ball even if we press the space key, okay? So this is how it works and this is how it works perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please subscribe, make sure to like and comment. So see you in the next video.